never trust what the customer tells you, always investigate. There's just no cold water, you know, when you turn this all the way around to cold, nothing. And that is the wheel that, because there was so much resistance in that, it was spinning the outer case on that wheel, whereas now it seems to be spinning fine. Because we've got no way of shutting just the cold off completely, it's passing through. So that just goes to show how brittle this existing sort of plastic case that connected on the bottom of that rod. Less than 24 hours later, I've got the cartridges for that shower. That's another little job, but I'd sort of stop stuff out for them. Do that. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is all well and good. This week's video is a perfect example of never listen to what the customer tells you is wrong and always find out for yourself exactly what the issue is. For instance, this job, uh, I went out to it and the customer told me, well, there's no, no cold water going to the shower. He said he had tested it and there's no cold water going to, to the shower itself, which I thought was a little odd. Um, so I said to him, well, if that's, if that's the case, we're gonna have to start taking tiles off and working out wh why there's, there's no water going to it. He contacted me prior to my holiday. So anyway, back off my holiday, and I've finally got round to it. And um, basically, if I'd gone off his, what he had told me, then it would have been a lot of work. Whereas I've gone there and thought, right, I'm going to double check. So I've done a few tests, as you'll see in the video, um, to work out whether that was the issue or whether the shower was the issue. But you'll see in the video, and it just goes to show, don't always rely on what the customer, sometimes, what is it the customer knows, the customer knows best, but sometimes they don't. So just bear that in mind, always do your checks. And also yesterday, um, keep your eye, if you don't follow Rhino Trade Insurance on Instagram, it's not an ad. If you don't follow Rhino Trade Insurance on Instagram, give them a follow, I'll put the link in the description below. Went to their headquarters yesterday and done a bit of a, a quirky little challenge thing, um, which should be coming out on their socials pretty soon. So give them a follow. Plus, I suppose if you're in the market for public light, public kind of say it public liability insurance uh tool insurance and all that sort of stuff to go with your business give them a shout dead easy website to use gives you gives you an instant quote and they're not just a, a a blank face insurance company they're an insurance company that get involved bit of banter and they do lots on instagram and i think they've got a youtube channel but they don't really do much on it but yeah if you're interested i'll put the links below check them out they're a good bunch there uh, right, let's just get on with the video, I suppose. Save me waffling away. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment below. Let's get on with the video. Oh, and before I go, the start, the probably the first four or five minutes of this video, the audio is a bit weird, and I'm not really sure why. I think it was because the bathroom I was working in was really echoey, and it took a while for my microphone to sort of adjust to it, but I just thought I'd let you know so you don't need to hammer me in the comments saying the audio's off. I know it was, uh, I tried to sort it out, but I couldn't. Anyway, let's get on with it. Now, customers rung me up that this shower is basically hot water's coming through fine, but they're getting no cold water. So what the customer's done previous to the phone call is replace the thermostat inside, run it again, it said still no cold water, hot water's coming through fine, we've got hot and cold at the bath, we've got hot and cold at the basin, there's just no cold water, you know, when you turn this all the way around to cold, nothing. Water's coming out, obviously it's, it's the mixed water coming through, but it's just not going cold, it's tepid. Um, so he's changed the thermostat himself, and it's still the same. So what he's told me he's done is took out the main body, and inside apparently there's two valves uh, inside, He's pushed the hot one and hot water's come out. He's pushed the cold one and no water at all has come out. That's all I can go on. So I've asked him, has it ever had cold water? And he said, I think it was his missus's property. They now rent it out. Um, so as far as he knows, it could possibly have never had cold water to it. I only 
they say that because when he's pushed the sort of the grommet, nothing's come out. So he's what he's done is he's cut a hole thinking it might have been a valve under here turned off or something. He's cut a hole exposing them two plastic pipes. I've just turned the shower on to work out which one's the hot. So it's marked the hot up. And uh, obviously the other one's the cold. But what I think I'm going to do is just whip the front of this shower off and see if I can replicate what it was telling me. Then, failing that, I think we're going to have to expose an area here. Try and keep it under the bath so that the panel can go on and it's, it's not a problem. But expose a bit here, see if them pipes come down. Maybe cut the cold off and see if there is actually any water coming through the cold. I don't know. I don't know yet, but we'll start by taking that off and uh, see if I can replicate what he's told me it's doing. I've just taken the front cover off this shower to try and replicate what the customer told me. So if you look here, you've got your thermostat on the bottom, that's going off to the right, up and to the head. Now here you've got your cold coming in the bottom, your hot going into the top, and you've got two sort of wheel mechanisms here for the on and off, which tie it with, with this, which sits over there like so with a wheel like a cog wheel in the middle so obviously that sits inside them two there so working on these two cogs about a turn if i just gently with the grips turn the top one which is the hot which you would get in that turns and the shower starts running so if i do the same for the bottom really gently on here and try and turn it if you can see just the outside of that cog is turning and it's not turning this bit here so you can take that off and take the top one off so that seems to be seized shut or at least it's not opening at the minute but i don't know if there's water going to it so what I'm going to do is just crack this nut in here just to see if we have got cold water at this point. If we have, we know it's an issue here. So what I've just done is cracked this cold valve here and you can see the water coming through there. So let me tighten it back up because that's telling me there is cold water at that point there. Always have a good socket set in your van. So, yeah, always keep a handy socket set. If you haven't got one, go to Alfred's, pick one up. You know, just a cheap socket set because they're always handy to things like this. So, that tells me then that we've got cold water coming in here and to this point. So, I'm going to go down now, turn the water off and take this valve out and uh, see if there's any way of just releasing this up so that it will turn um, a little bit easier. Right, so I've just been, turn the water off, now let's, uh, let's take this valve completely out and have a look. So what I've done is taken, so I've taken the front of that valve out, I've never seen one before like this, but I assume that just twists like a ceramic cartridge, lets the water through and then shuts. Like so, I've never seen one like that before, but anyway, I've taken the front off and it was seized up solid. So I've just put some grips on there really gently and tried to free it up. That didn't move before at all. So I'm going to give it that little bit of a spray, a bit of lube on there and just work a bit in and, and get it freed up, pop it back in and see if that makes a difference at all. So I've just put a little blob of silicon grease in there and now that is turning. Is that the wheel? Let me check. Yeah. And that is the wheel that because there was so much resistance in that, it was spinning the outer case on that wheel. Whereas now, 
seems to be spinning fine. So, in theory, I would say that that was just seized up. So that is the prime case of the customer said to me he had checked that and there was no cold water coming to here. So I've checked it, always follow through, always if a customer tells you something, just do your own checks because you could have, I could have been cutting everything out there on the assumption that he said there was no cold water. Now, I've opened that up and we have got cold water as far as I'm aware at the minute. So we freed that up. So get that valve back in there, reseat it, and then we can check, turn the water back on and check that that has made the difference. Hopefully, I think it has. Touch wood, you know what I'm like. So we had a little bit of an issue. I've put the front of this valve back in, freed it up. The feed to the hot water is off. The mains cold is back on, so we know 100% we're getting the cold water here. So we know the only problem with this shower is this valve. So I took the front of it off, as I've just showed you, freed it all up, put it back in. As I'm putting it back in, the original um, valve inside, that sat on the back of the, the sort of the threaded bit that went in. Literally that just started to fall apart, cracked, it was brittle. So I think because that's been seized up, once that's gone in and began to move this, it's just failed and uh, completely fell apart. So I've got the water back on, but behind there is obviously nothing, so that's just a bun. The hot's there, hot one's working fine. The bottom one is just, there's no regulation to turning the cold off. now. What we may have here then, because that's just, there's no way of turning the cold pressure off there, pushing against the thermostat, I think the thermostat is gonna pass the cold water because the, we're not shutting the cold off, if that makes sort of sense. I'll try it when it, uh, the water's off at the minute, I'll try it when I get the water back on, but I'm not sure what we're gonna be able to do with it. So I need to match up that valve that's now in bits and I've got to try and somehow try and match that up. But I think he replaced the thermostat, so hopefully he knows what shower, what make shower that is. So as we can't do anything with that now until we've got a replacement one of them, I've just uh, dropped the customer a message because as I said, he's replaced the, the thermostat on it at some point, so hopefully he knows what shower it is. So I'm going to build the shower back up with these bits that are down here and uh, just get it back on and working hopefully I just don't I'm just conscious that that may may not regulate the, the pressure going in so even though it's off I think it might pass slightly which is going to be a bit of a pain um, but we'll only know when we build it back up so let's get the front plates back on so first that plate sits into there like so and we put the two sort of geared wheels back on. See that's also missing a little lug here as well. I think that snapped off when we've been trying to free it up so it just proves exactly how brittle that was. So we've got them two on there and then we just pop in the two screws into there. Then this, as you see with that gear sort of cog, goes into there to work both of them. So that's the front of it made up. All it needs now is the shroud on and the two control knobs. But what I'm going to do now is go and turn the water back onto it and hopefully make sure that it will turn off. That's my only concern is whether it's going to turn off or not. Like whether the cold's going to pass through there. So there we go, that's how it is sitting at the minute with everything off on the controller. And because we've got, as I've said plenty of times before, because we've got no way of shutting just the cold off completely, it's passing through. So I'm gonna to have to either cap that off at the top, which I think is gonna be the best way. And then I'll have to carry on using the bath with this shower hose on until we can match that valve. So, we just pop them two little caps back on and uh, see what we're going to do with that. Hopefully the customer knows what makes shower it is. Otherwise, it's going to be a wild goose chase. Looking for cartridge that matches that. So that 
is the only way we're going to stop that from just passing until we get that valve. So sometimes you just got to adapt and overcome, otherwise it's just going to carry on dripping out that head and it'll be like Chinese water torture. So we're just waiting on, trying to match up that shower. Right, just as I was tidying up here, I just put a little uh, picture out on Instagram with if anyone knew what shower that was and what cartridge that was. Fair play, Stanley, SNL Plumbing has got back to me and said it's a Trevi valve. So I've been on to Shower Doctor. If anyone's not used it before, Shower Doctor for all your bits for any showers. They seem to keep absolutely everything. So I've been on there, managed to order a replacement hot and cold cartridge for that shower and hopefully it will come tomorrow. Um, if it does, I might be able to swing in tomorrow afternoon and get this sorted. But now we're going to pop downstairs because we've got a set of kitchen taps to swap over. So it's Friday morning at the moment. That job that you've just seen was Thursday. Now it's Friday. Just done another job this morning, if you're following, and I had a message come up on my phone that I had a parcel delivered at home from the shower doctor, and it is, in fact, those two replacement, there you go, those two replacement cartridges for that shower. So, less than 24 hours later, I've got the cartridges for that shower. I'll put a link in the description below. If ever you need any bits for showers or whatever, and even if you just got a picture, you can always send it over to them and they'll match it up. Luckily, as I've already said, um, I put this out on my Instagram and Stan um, from SNL Plumbing got back to me and said it is them. And shout out to everyone. There's a few people that messaged me saying that's the shower it is, the Trevi shower. So it just goes to show the power of social media and less than 24 hours later, we have got the cartridges. So I've just rung the customer, he's in. So we're gonna fly over there now quickly and get these in and get that shower back up and running. But while I'm here, why not just give me a little subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, hit the little icon down the bottom, get subscribed, drop me a comment below. If you're new to the channel and a new subscriber, just drop me a comment, let me know. And uh, I always try to interact with everyone that leaves a comment, apart from the dickhead comments, I don't bother. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, drop me a comment. Chances are I'll reply and have a bit of a chat. But right, let's go and get these fitted. So here we are back with said valve. So as per yesterday or previously in this video, we'll strip this off, screw out, screw out, whip the front off, take the cover off. Water's already turned off, been and done that. So we can just whip the two valves out and get the new ones back in. So when I ordered the cartridges, there was a breakdown of this actual shower. Now, earlier in the video, I said that these can see them it was spinning on the outside whereas now I have to look in on the actual breakdown and sort of like the schematics of it these are known as slip gears so whether they're meant to spin round I suppose if it gets too tight or what and maybe it's sort of like a fail safe device but as I said I've never come across these before so it, it's all a learning curve but yeah these are known as slip gears so they're off as I said, let's take that plate off. So all we'll do now is, as I said, socket set. So as I said, we'll whip that one out, whip that one out, replace them with the new ones. So that just goes to show how brittle this existing sort of plastic case that connected on the bottom of that was. So all of that there is basically that bottom bit there. So, yeah, it's good to see they've superseded them with them. But getting that out of there was a bit of a pig. So I've put some, I've put some silicon around that. And it will just make that one in, get that one tightened in, get it built back up, and we should be good to go. So this is the tricky part now. We've got them in, but I'm not sure, because they're quarter, quarter turn, I'm not sure which is on and which is off. So. I'm gonna guess it's like that. Go and turn the water on now. Then we're gonna to have to quickly run back up here and work out which is on and which is off to make the water stop coming out of the head. So, let's go and turn the water on. Because there's 
No stop tap, there's another thing here with this property. There's no stop tap downstairs in the kitchen, so we've got to turn it on outside. So, but I have told them about that, and that's another little job. I've got to sort stop tap out for them. So, at the moment, we are turning it on here. So, let's do that. I'm going to see if I can hear the shower running already. Right, so they're now off, which is perfect. Whew, bit of a dash there, it's all going off. So, what? <laughs> I'm all out of breath. So, what we know now is the bottom one is the cold that was originally seized. So if we turn that now, turn that now, we've got cold water. So if we turn that off and we turn the hot on, we've got hot water. So now it's just a case of putting the gear in, in. as you can see that gear cog will sit in the middle and turn them to both at the same time in theory, like so, and then the thermostat, and the thermostat is to control the heat, so let's build that back up now, dry myself off, so I'm absolutely soaked, but we'll build that back up and give it a proper test, so there we go, one trimmy shower working again, we've got hot, cold, thermostatic, we've got hot and cold coming out of the top that they didn't have before, it was just constantly warm because that cold cartridge was sea shut so moral of the story is never trust what the customer tells you always investigate so i was told coming to this one that there was no cold water going to the shower after stripping it down checking it we worked out there was so then we look at the next route which was probably the cartridge so yeah always check Oh,